I think, I mean, what, when I first did the original pharmacy, I wanted to, uh, I, I thought the idea, I mean, it's just a very strange juxtaposition. I thought the last place you want to be having a coffee and eating some food is in a pharmacy. Um, and so I thought it'd be funny to make a, a restaurant that was better looked like a pharmacy. And in the end, I think it actually works, which I didn't expect. So I think it's a, it's a complicated juxtaposition, but leads to a great experience. I suppose pills are like colours, so it's very hard to pick a favourite. I mean, my favourites are always changing. I like, I mean, I used to love every single colour, except maybe I didn't like purple. And I never knew why I didn't like purple. And then after a while, I kind of thought, no, you need to make an effort. And now I like all colours, including purple. When I was very young, I liked blue. And then um, with drugs, it's just the same thing. I mean, they look like sweets, don't they? So it's like, in the, the wallpaper I use, is the top 100 prescribed drugs worldwide. Um, so I quite like that, that you have like, you know, like in music you have the top 10 or the top 100, you get the same thing in medicine. Um, so rather than have to choose personal favourites, I mean obviously if you're sick, you prefer the ones that are going to make you uh, well again, rather than, you know, choosing one that you like is a pretty colour. Um, so I think it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose the, the, the drug companies colour them to make them attractive. I believe that anything done well is art, and I think, you know, I mean, I think I've noticed over the last few years that, uh, that fashion is becoming closer and closer and closer to art. Um, you know, I mean, if you're, it's a very personal thing, isn't it? It's like people, you know, when you, you know, I guess when Prada make all their clothing, they go, you know, this is Prada. But when you buy it, it's not Prada anymore, it's yours. So it's like, it's a, it's a kind of personal thing. You have a personal choice. And it, you know, you're choosing something to wrap around your own personality, which becomes you. Um, and I think if it does that, you know, really well, um, you know, like I think if you buy a Prada leather jacket, you love it, you keep it for years. They almost get better with age. You know, they become like vintage. And I think if you get that kind of love and love of a product, you know, it's a bit like, um, Harley Davidson or something where you you know if you love a product you will tattoo it on your chest um, and I think you know that's what you know that's what you get with, with with Prada and that's what elevates it out of a level of being you know functional or just you've got to wear clothes you don't really have any selection it's like just something you love and I think that you know in any artistic way it's like if one plus one equals more than two then it's art so, and, I, and I think that's what you get with you just think you know you know I guess I guess if, if some, you want people to come up to you and say, if, if, if somebody comes up to you and says, I love your shoes, then uh, maybe it means that they're art.